I stand before you today not as Malcolm Little, but as Malcolm X, the man who has journeyed through the depths of oppression, discrimination, and injustice. My life story warrants retelling, for it is not mine alone, but a reflection of the struggles faced by millions of African Americans in this country. Born on May 19, 1925, in Omaha, Nebraska, I was raised amidst the roots of racism. My father, Earl Little, was a minister and an advocate for black rights. His boldness and unyielding commitment to equality inspired me, but his life was tragically cut short by a white supremacist group who used violence to silence his voice, born into a world that seemed determined to break me. I experienced firsthand the cruelty of segregation and the injustices that plagued the black community. Growing up in Nebraska, then moving to Michigan, I witnessed the daily struggles and humiliations faced by my people. But it wasn't until my father's brutal murder at the hands of a white supremacist group that my path to fight against racism truly began. Filled with hatred and a thirst for revenge, I fell into a life of crime and violence. Imprisoned for my wrongdoings, I had a profound revelation during my time behind bars. I had to transform myself, educate myself. Books became my solace, and through them, I discovered the teachings of the Nation of Islam. It was within the walls of my prison cell that I found solace in the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Upon my release, I joined the Nation of Islam and changed my name to Malcolm X, a representation of my African heritage and a rejection of my slave name. The teachings of the nation became my guiding light, helping me find purpose and meaning. As my role within the nation grew, I became a powerful advocate for the black community, spreading our message of self-reliance, black nationalism, and the need to fight back against systemic racism. I wanted my people to be unapologetically proud of their heritage, their culture, and their worth. But my journey to stop racism wasn't solely limited to the black community. I knew that true change required unity, the erasure of hatred, and the breaking down of systemic barriers across all racial divides. My sincerity and dedication to these ideals led me to an unexpected watershed moment in my life, a pilgrimage to Mecca. Witnessing the diversity of Muslims from around the world, the shared brotherhood and sisterhood, I found something that I had not known before. Racism was not just a disease plaguing America, it was a global epidemic infecting all corners of the earth.